Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Port Orleans Resort and we're going to do some fishing at the fishing hole down by Muddy Rivers. I am so excited. And then later on, we're going to hop on a boat and take a trip over to Disney Springs to have a little lunch. Anywho's, let's go do this. I love hanging out at Disney's Port Orleans Resort and I've been wanting to come over and go fishing for a while. It's one of my favorite things to do and the reason I haven't done it sooner is because it's only open till 2 p.m. So you have to get here kind of early and I figured today would be the perfect day. Fishing in Disney is so much fun and there's only two spots where you can fish off of a dock and that's here at Port Orleans and the other one's at Fort Wilderness. They do offer fishing excursions. We actually go out on a guided tour like on a pontoon boat and those can be kind of pricey anywhere from $100 to $250 but uh, this is actually really affordable. It's like six, seven dollars an hour and you just go out, you get a pole, they bring it, they, they supply everything and you just get to fish right off the dock. I grab myself a Bud Light and we're gonna head straight on back to Alligator Bayou. I'm so excited, this is one of my favorite things to do. And today's weather is the perfect day for a little fishing. It's not too hot out, it's very sunny and we got a little bit of a breeze. So like I said, today's gonna be a good day. I mean, in all honesty, I feel like every day is a good day if you're in Disney. So today's gonna be an extra good day. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever done any fishing in Disney. Eventually, I do want to do a fishing excursion where we go out on the boat. And uh, if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments if you think I should do the fishing excursion. Because I think that would be fun too. And uh, eventually, maybe go fishing over at Fort Wilderness. Kind of do all the fishing in Disney. We've made it over to Alligator Bayou. So we're going to have to head on over in the direction of Muddy Rivers. And then we'll find the fishing hole. It's right over here, right next to the uh, to the left of the pool. It's kind of funny because I was just out here not too long ago with some friends, but I wasn't filming that day. So I'm so excited to bring it back and I'll go over all the details with you too and give you the price guidelines. I'm not too sure exactly how much it is. Like I said, I think it's like six or $7 like per hour or per half an hour. And that's including everything. But isn't it so pretty over here? I love it and uh, here we are. We're at the fishing hole. Catch bass and brim at the fishing hole. All right, it's $6.39 per half an hour. And here is some of the fish that you can catch in the fishing hole. They have some largemouth bass in there, some bluegill, some catfish, some sunfish. And there are other wildlife out there like snakes and turtles. So you kind of have to be careful, but this is it. This is the, uh, the fishing hole. $6.39 per half an hour includes everything you need, including your fishing pole. And it's just a traditional cane pole, so you don't have to reel anything in. And also it comes with your bait. They give you live worms and hot dogs. So I'm so excited. We're going to find a little spot, crack open the beer, and just sit back and relax. There's lots of good spots, but I want to try to find one where one of these umbrellas are at so we can be a little bit under the shade. And I think we're going to take a spot right over here. I think this is where I want to be. And I also like how they have these little step stools here. So uh, for any of the young kids, they can actually fish. And I mean, it's everybody. They even do family specials. I think it's like the whole family up to four people for $15. And yeah, this is, this is it. I feel like this is a good spot. I'm hoping we catch something. No guarantees, but still, it's going to be relaxing and fun. Like I am, I'm very excited. Like I said, we got some hot dogs. We've got some worms here some live worms the only thing is is you do have to bait your own reel i know when you do the fishing excursions they do everything like they they bait it and then you uh they even you know take the the uh fish off and both uh the fishing excursion and here is catch and release and uh yeah but light <laughs> this is such a large fishing stick too so we're gonna actually have to be careful and i think we're gonna start off with using a little hot dog got the hook here I almost got hooked myself. There we go. Let's see if we can hook a hot dog. Hook a hot dog. <laughs> oh, I probably have to put the camera down. I've done pricked my finger. All right, hot dog is on. Now we're gonna pick this bad boy up. This is like super, super big. I'm gonna have to take it over the side here. It's a floating hot dog. 
And like I said, you don't have to cast it out. You just set it in and then just sit back and relax. Let the fish come to you. I'm not seeing much action here. Got to be very quiet. You don't want to spook the, the fish. But I know they're in there. I know you're in there. Do you want to build a snowman? We got some action here. It's biting. It's biting. I had to switch it up to the warms because I felt like they were just coming and taking the hot dog and then going away. Like my hot dog kind of just started disappearing. So they were just taking little bites and then leaving. But uh, we'll see if uh, the worms do anything. Those little fish are just taking away at my warm here. Look at that. You see them just grabbing it? Ooh, ooh. Regardless if I catch anything or not, this is just so nice. I really do just like being out here. Oh, we got a bite, we got a bite, we got a bite. Shh. They, they let off. I don't think we're getting anything today. Seems like they're biting, but they're just taking the bait and going. They're just taking the bait and running with it. It's like they're wise to these tricks. They know what's going on here. But we'll just uh, keep sitting here waiting. Looks like our time is done. They uh, stop, uh, the, the, all the poles have to go back by uh, 145, so. Time to call it a day. I think next time we have to come maybe earlier in the day. You know what I mean? Like I feel like coming at lunch isn't really lunch for the fish, but it's still a really fun like thing to do, especially staying here at the resort. And it was six dollars. Six dollars. Like that's 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 such a cool thing, you know? Time to put the hook back in at the end of the pole here very safely. Very safely. There we go. Just hook it right there. A bada bing, a bada boom. I'm not even sad that I didn't catch anything because it was still a really fun experience and I definitely think I'm gonna do a fishing excursion because now I really want to do it like I you know I have caught fish here before once and I've been with people who have caught fish too so I know they're in there I know you're in there right next to the fishing hole they have a nice little spot where they have some hammocks and these are the good hammocks so I think I might uh, just kind of sit down in a hammock before we grab a boat over to Disney Springs. Oh, look at this one's in the shade over here. I think I like this one a little bit better. They have two of them. They have this one right here and then this one right here. There is a pretty good chance that I'm going to fall on my face because usually I don't know why I cannot get on a hammock properly without it swinging and then me falling off. But I'm going to do my best because I don't want to fall. Nope, don't do it. I'm a little stuck. Yeah. Oh no. I think I'll just take a tumble. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. 
try this again. Here we go. Just gonna dust it off. Oh, there's a little fishing wire here. All right, here we go. <coughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. All right, here we go. <sighs> we did it. That's the way. There's no way I can be the only person that thinks hammocks are tricky. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're just very, very tricky. But once you get on them, it's very relaxing. Very nice and relaxing. And it's funny because I was relaxed there, but I know the camera was running. So, like, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to trim down that clip. But it literally recorded for, like, 10 minutes because I was just there chilling out. <laughs> Before we actually make our way back out front to the boats, I do want to stop here and see what they got going on at the Muddy River Bar here. You know, this is one of the spots I do stop to get a drink every time and uh, see if they got any like, specials, you know? I know they got the uh, Jack and Coke and Rum and Coke frozen. I kind of just like it over here. Looks like they got some specials like a Gata melon juice, a front porch freeze, and a Nola Cola. $19 for the Nola Cola though. But I kind of like it. I'm not going to get anything right now. I'd rather wait until I have dinner. But I still want to show it off a little bit. Port Orleans really has so many different recreation. You know what I mean? They have the fishing, they've got the hammocks, they've got uh, horse-drawn carriages, they got the Surrey bikes, and they even got a campfire on the bayou. Campfire on the bayou, held nightly from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., weather permitting, and it's a nice little bayou area here. The bayou's on the other side. Now we have to go catch our boat so we can make our way over to Disney Springs. I really don't have anything planned for lunch, just whatever we can get at this point, but it'd be an interesting, and it's a beautiful boat ride. Like, it's so nice because you go through uh, Saratoga Springs and Old Key West, and uh, then you go to Disney Springs. Looks like we're just in time because here comes a boat right now. So that means uh, we're going to be able to catch that one. Before we hop on the boat, I wanted to show you the uh, guided fishing excursions that they do and the prices. Starting at $235 for a two hour trip and $455 for a four hour trip, five guests maximum. So if it was by myself, I would still pay $235. I definitely think I want to do it, but maybe I'll get some friends. But now we need to make our way down to the river cruise. Down to the river cruise. The good old Sasagula. I think I just said the river cruise. Down to the river cruise. <laughs> this boat right here is called the Florida Queen. And I wonder if this is the king then. <laughs> Probably is. It's very fancy. in the treehouse villas and it's really awesome because I stayed right there at that treehouse villa there's one as soon as you uh, get off the boat dock straight ahead and that's the one I stayed at last I did stay at another one that was a little bit up that farther end but these are so fun I love them here's a real good look at one of them here look at that this one would be a great one to have because then you have this amazing view this is the uh, living room right there and then the bedrooms on the other side there there's actually three bedrooms inside there. It's a real fun experience. If you guys want to check out my video, I have two of them. So uh, I'll put a link in the description. There's one of the Ampia cars from the boathouse out on the water right now. It's really cool to see that. I love that. That is one of the funnest things to do in Disney as well. It's so funny because when we were in uh, Port Orleans, they were playing some like really nice like Bayou music. Then we get to Disney Springs and it's Miley Cyrus and Party in the USA. But now we have officially made it 
to Disney Springs and they drop you off at the marketplace side so this is more towards the world of Disney and uh, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna have to eat what we're gonna have for lunch since we don't have a reservation anywhere, I think I want to do something maybe quick service wise. Maybe uh, Blaze Pizza or uh, Pizza Ponte or, oh, Polite Pig. Oh, Polite Pig actually doesn't sound too bad. I can go for some Brussels sprouts. I do love the Brussels sprouts there. And uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe Polite Pig. I feel like Disney Springs is going to be kind of crowded, especially later on tonight, because there are no park reservations. For the first time in like weeks, I can't get a park reservation in the parks today or tomorrow. But I keep on checking because I do want to go hang out with some friends. So uh, we'll see. Sometimes they pop back up. You just got to keep on going in the app. Before we make our way down to Polite Pig, I think I want to stop in the co-op and see if they got anything fancy going on in there. I always like seeing if they got anything new, especially in the vault collection store. And then also the art store in the back there too. They do have the new Orange Bird shirt and I've been eyeing this up for a while. The only issue is it's $125, but I love it. I got the other one, the 50th one, and it's it's the, the actual company that makes it. It's a Spooner shirt, so these are already very expensive, and I love my other one. It's $125, but it is worth it, especially if you like buttons up, like button up shirts. These are so, so fancy. Take a look at some of these patches over here. Walt Disney World, the vacation kingdom of the world. I like that a lot. And then they have some retro ones down here. They have Walt Disney World 1971. I like the Goofy one though. The Goofy one is really awesome. Oh, they even have Donald too. I'm not even too sure how much these are. Oh, $9.99. That's not too bad at all. Those patches are kind of cool. I like those a lot. I don't know how to patch anything. And I'm not even too sure if I have any. I have anything that would put a patch on. Or else I probably would get one. Like, you know what I mean? It would be kind of fancy. Maybe a hat. I don't know if you could do that or not, but that would be really awesome. I'd love to get that Walt Disney World Vacation Kingdom one. That would be amazing. But I think we're just gonna have to keep moving along here, make our way down to Play Pig, because I'm starting to get hungry. Maybe after we eat lunch, we'll uh, swing back up and go through World of Disney, because we have to come back this way to catch a boat to go back to Port Orleans anyway. Sometimes I forget that the Polite Pig is a quick service because it's so good that like you would think it's a sit down restaurant but even when there was a Disney dining plan it was actually a quick service credit and uh, I'm excited. I love the Brussels sprouts here and it's usually super busy and uh, yeah we're going for it. Here is a look at the menu and you can always go with the butcher board. Butcher board is $42 and it's for two people. It's uh, polite pork, smoked chicken, brisket, cheddar sausage, and slaw. Comes with two sides and the sides are where they are at. They have a tomato and watermelon salad, roasted beets, barbecue cauliflower, the Brussels sprouts, the grilled street corn, sweet potato tots, polite waffle fries, mac and cheese, baked beans. So good, but I don't think we're doing that today. I think we're doing something different. Just because the butcher board says for two people, it is easily able to be done by one person. I've done it by myself before easily, and I know friends that are probably a lot skinnier than me that can eat a whole butcher board. They don't give you a lot, they just give you a lot of variety. And uh, I don't know, I, usually I wanna try like the chef special. They always have a chef special going on, and it's something for the month, so I'm not too sure what it is, but we're gonna look at that. It looks like they're starting to prep the brisket. Holy moly. I don't know if it's brisket or if that's pork shoulder there. The chef special is a smoked pork tenderloin. And I don't know if I want that, you know? I mean, I want to try something different, but at the same time, it's calling me. Like the brisket is calling me. I love the brisket here. It's my favorite thing. So do I try something different or do I stick with the classic? Oh my Lord, good heavens. The brisket is $21, and then if I want to get an extra side of Brussels sprouts, because it does come with one side, but I want to get the sweet potato tots and the Brussels sprouts, then it would be $30. And at that point, like, would it be sense to actually get the butcher board for $12 more, and then you get twice the amount of food and way more options? Ah, ah. I swear this is not what I was expecting to do today. 
but I'm kind of happy I'm doing it. I just went with the whole entire butcher board because like I said, if I was just to get the brisket, the tots, and the Brussels sprouts, it would have came to $31. All of this with my discount came to $39. So why wouldn't I do it? Like that's what I was thinking in my head and I'm so excited to dive in. Like I said, we have the, the uh, sweet potato tots, we've got the Brussels sprouts, we got the pulled pork and they ask you if you want it shredded or sliced and I decided to go sliced and then I subbed out the sausage with the smoked turkey because I love turkey the brisket and then the smoked chicken and they give you two sides of coleslaw two jalapeno cornbread and two house-made pickles and I am happy like I said I mean it's really not that much food it is a lot of food but it's, it's not that much for two people. So one person can eat a lot of this. I don't know if I'm gonna eat everything today, uh, you know what I mean? But I will take some home if I have to, because like I said, at that point, I got leftovers for tomorrow and I'm gonna try the brisket first. I'm diving into the brisket, because you guys, I love this brisket. The coffee rub on it is phenomenal and I can just smell it now, so I, I can't even wait. Now it's time for the Brussels sprouts. And it's kind of funny is because these are the things that decided me to come over here. These are the deciding factor. I love the Brussels sprouts here. They are so amazing. And I was never a fan until I tried them here. And now I'm hooked. They keep me coming back for more. Yes. Baby, you're all that I want. How you doing? <laughs> Too good. We gotta take our time though and we'll try a little bit of everything. Now we're gonna grab ourselves a little sweet potato tot. And I like how they have the Parmesan cheese on top of there. Oh, I love it when people are just standing there listening to me serenade my food and then they're just like, hi Nate. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But here's the sweet potato tots. Mm. Everything here is phenomenal. Okay, so we tried the brisket, we tried the Brussels sprouts, we tried the tots. Now for some turkey. And this turkey is so good, it just falls apart. Look at it. It literally just falls apart. It's smoked that amazing. The turkey is actually up there with one of my favorite things here too. You gotta be turkey in me. Now for the polite pork. And like I said, I, I asked for it sliced because I thought it would be a little bit more fancier. And look at that on the outside. Look at that crust. Oh my lord, everything is just so phenomenal. I'm going to say it right now. There is not a better meal on property than this butcher board for under $40 anywhere. Anywhere on Disney property, you will not find a better meal for under $40. I, I mean, it, it, let me know. Do you guys agree? Like, yeah, I feel like everybody would agree to that. I forgot to try the pork. <laughs> We're going to hop back over to the brisket for a second because I really want to show off that coffee rub right there. Look at it. Look at that. Oh, my Lord. It's an artwork. I think you can legit brush off the coffee if you wanted to. Look at that. So we basically tried all of the meats here except for the smoked chicken. I'm going to break the smoked chicken out in a second. But uh, it's really tough for me to tell you what my favorite is because I love everything. You know what I mean? I do love the Brussels sprouts because I feel like they're just so unique with flavor. But the brisket is also just amazing. So it's like, oh, it's so hard. Honestly, I just gotta say, I love all of it. Now it's time to pull apart the smoked chicken here. Let's see, we'll go right here. Look at that. I'm starting to feel capped here, folks. And I didn't even touch the coleslaw or the jalapeno uh, cornbread, even though I should crack one of these bad boys open. Yeah, we gotta take a look on the inside here. We gotta check out this jalapeno cornbread. Look at that. I'm definitely gonna finish up these Brussels sprouts, so look at that. Oh, 
<laughs> I'll be dreaming about these Brussels sprouts later. That's it. I'm throwing in the towel. Just couldn't do any more. But boy, oh boy, did I enjoy that. I thought about grabbing the rest of it and taking it home and giving some to Gracie, but all that seasoning and spicing is probably not good for her little tummy. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't want to give her anything that's going to give her an upset stomach. But now uh, let's walk through uh, World of Disney. I'm not even too sure if they got anything new in the stores, but we're going to find out. And I also love the fact that we can go in and out of any door. I pointed that out last time, but little things like that you kind of take for granted. I want to see if they have any new spirit jerseys, but at the same time, I don't want to go down another episode as the spirit jersey turns, the soap opera ongoing thing, but I still, maybe looking wouldn't be too bad. I don't see any new ones anyway. I do see this is kind of cool. It's not a spirit jersey though, but I do like it a little bit. I don't know what I would ever use it for. Maybe for some golfing. I forgot that they released the new uh, Mickey Mouse uh, main attraction and Space Mountain is out already. Look at this right here. Don't they look so nice? And I like how in the back they had the little 50th logo on there. And there's tons of them. I remember when this first came out and I don't even know what series it was, but everything sold out so quick and it's amazing that it's still here. Also, here is another thing that was highly sought after that people were going crazy for, including my sister. And uh, now plenty of them in stock. Looks like they're all just medium, small. I don't see any other ones though. This looks a little bit new. I don't think I've seen this before either. Look at that, it's like a little hoodie. I've never seen that before. It also looks like they did some rearranging in here too. Like they moved things around. This section right over here used to be where they had the coffee mugs. Now they made a Star Wars side and a Marvel side. A little strange, isn't it? I, this is new. Ooh, is that a Hawkeye zipper up hoodie? I think it is. I would totally be down to get this, but Look at how fuzzy that inside material is. Definitely it'd be itchy here in Florida. Ooh, it looks like we got some performances from the uh, Disney Imagination Campus going on. my way out I found swings and things the hammock experts I bet you they know the best way to get on a hammock without falling on the ground they're the experts well that little performance was really nice and now I think we're gonna hop the boat and make our way back to Port Orleans and it was a lot of fun I mean the whole entire day was a lot of fun I really did enjoy it I got to come out do some fishing didn't get to catch any fish but that's okay like I said it's still fun in the act of fishing and then uh, we hopped over here had an amazing lunch I mean holy moly that was phenomenal and uh, just enjoyed a nice casual non-park day so I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!